When weeds emerge after sowing, you know you're going to have to spray them sooner or later. And that's the key question. How soon should you spray to get full value out of your investment in a selective herbicide? As a rule of thumb, we'd say the sooner you spray the best suitable product, the better. And velocity proves the point. Velocity is ideal for early application to control broadleaf weeds because it works fast and can be sprayed from the two-leaf stage without damaging the crop. Targeting young weeds reduces shading, so you get better spray coverage to help make velocity even more effective. That means your young crop won't be held back, either by having to compete with broadleaf weeds or get over the short-term crop effects that some other herbicides can cause. But the bottom line is that in most cases, using Velocity early will pay off in extra yield at the end of the season, which means higher returns and increased profit. Most seasons, if growing conditions are good, you'll end up spraying broadleaf weeds more than once, regardless of the herbicide used. So sometimes it's tempting to try something older and cheaper first and keep the newer, more advanced chemistry, which might cost a bit more, in reserve. It sounds logical, but in fact, it can be asking for trouble. First, there's the simple matter of results. Years of trials have shown us that spraying velocity early produces a strong yield response. Although velocity is very effective as a single post-emergent spray, the comparison with other products is even clearer when two post-emergent broadleaf sprays are used. Over several years, the pattern has been that using velocity for the first spray, early, delivers the best results, almost no matter which broadleaf herbicide is applied later. That's because velocity combines such a high level of crop safety with excellent broadleaf weed control. Take this 2011 trial as an example. An early first spray with either Jaguar or Velocity was compared against no early spray and one later spray with eight different herbicide options. The highest yield and profit came from spraying Velocity first and Tigrex second. That combination produced about half a tonne a hectare more than spraying Jaguar first and Velocity second, which also cost more. There's a second good reason not to save your best options till later. The longer you leave weeds growing in the crop, the more nutrients and moisture they will have taken from your establishing crop, which means reduced yield potential. The stronger the weeds, the more likelihood of poor crop establishment. If you don't use the most effective chemistry early, or you hold back for a single spray till later in the crop, you could be setting up your best option to fail. By that stage, any weeds that emerged early and have kept growing are likely to have large, vigorous root systems. Even if their leaves look a bit stunted or damaged, that'll make them very hard to kill. Using herbicides in such difficult conditions is like only taking half a course of antibiotics. Doing half the job can help build up resistance and make future treatments less effective. Spraying velocity early has the reverse effect. It will thoroughly control the smaller weeds, so there are few, if any, escapes that may set seed and begin the gradual development of resistance. And if any weeds germinate later, they can be cleaned up with a different product. That way you get the best value from Velocity and it takes the pressure off older products so you can keep using them for longer too. Add in extra yield and extra profit and it's a no-brainer. Go early with the best option available and for broadleaf weeds that means Velocity.